have a third date, and I'm just kind of nervous because I don't know what to expect. Nick. Nick has a heart of gold. He's a Harvard-educated molecular biologist. He comes from a large, close-knit family and is looking for a girl who will fit in and become a part of it. Nick is really close with his family, and he's looking for a girl who is close with her family, so I think they'll have a lot in common. Meet him at the Magic Garden Gallery on South Street and get ready for a spontaneous night on the streets of Philadelphia. I've been through two dates, I'm ready for my third, and three's always been a lucky number for me, so I'm very excited. Breck is intelligent, well-traveled, and was brought up with values. You will also have a lot to talk about when it comes to your careers. Breck is the owner of an antique shop, and I know that's something Brie will really be into, considering she owns a vintage shop, so I think they might have a lot in common. Meet him at Balboa Park. The holiday continues. I'm about to embark on my big nighttime date, and I get to wear my vintage dress and my red heels. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> I've been wanting to get dressed up this whole time. Oh, I think it's love at first sight. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, I'm too. Nick. Hi, Nick. I'm Christina. This is the Magic Garden. This is pretty much just like a big art sculpture. Nick was very good looking. He was sort of the complete opposite of what I was expecting of a biologist. Yeah, let's go check it out. I think Christina's beautiful. <laughs> I'm excited to get to know her a little bit more. I have some flats in the limit. I might need to put those on. Oh my goodness, you could have a fantastic oh my God. event here. <laughs> this was all done by one guy. This is pretty much like mosaic form of art. This is very cool. Yeah, I've out. never seen anything like this. Yeah. This is, this is Eddie down here. So what do you do right now? I do brain research. I work on a brain disease called Huntington's disease. I've been doing that for the past couple of years. And wow, that's I've impressive. Had, you know, I have a really good place in mind to eat dinner tonight if you'd like to go. Yeah, so. well. All right, sounds no, good. No, this was a great idea. I All really right, like it. Cool, I'm glad you enjoyed it. children? I do. Yeah. What do, you do? Um, so in the evenings, I, uh, I volunteer um, at the hospital, the same hospital I do research at. And um, I work, uh, work with kids uh, in the pediatrics ward. Nick was so interesting. I was fascinated by him. The rest of the week in the evenings, I'm a band. You have a band? Yeah, I'm a drummer. Uh, I'm pretty like amazed right now. You're pretty well-rounded. <laughs> All right, so this is M. Thank you. The second week at a dinner. That's when like all the drilling just kind of kicked in. Does your family want you to date an Italian girl? My parents wouldn't care. I just, uh, you know, I'm waiting for a good girl to bring home to my parents, you know? That's a good mentality you have, because my problem is that I'll bring a guy too early. Mm -hmm. And my family gets too wrapped up. Like, this might sound intimidating, but like, if you're dating me, you're kind of like, the family's really involved. You sound Italian. <laughs> Hey, we're Costa Rican. You think they're Italian? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nick and I definitely had a lot in common, and I love that we were able to have good conversation. Huh, you're getting more and more impressive. How's it look? Pretty awesome. Now you have the wheel. <laughs> All right, we're almost here. You have like the like a typical Italian family, don't you? Oh yeah. Like, Do you guys very, have, like, family dinners? And... Um, we all go to my grandmother's house, and she'll cook a feast for us. So like, That's um, awesome. So I'm going to get some juicy questions. Oh, man. <laughs> well, have you had a long-term relationship before? Um, I dated a girl for about a year. I didn't really see a future, but, and I've been single pretty much since. Dating thing's not working for you? I, I'm looking for certain things. I love good conversation, you know? I love to be able to talk like we're doing right now. Not at any point in the evening. Did I find myself trying to think of what we were going to talk about Cheers. next? Cheers. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And that's major. I had an amazing time. I did I'm too. sorry to see this night end. I know. So am I. It was great because I, I found myself very attracted to Nick. I had a great time. I had a fantastic time. Awesome. Christina made me feel so comfortable. One of the best first dates I've ever had. I would absolutely love uh, she gave me that plane ticket because I think we definitely have a lot more to find out about each other. <laughs>